Hi there, I'm Heather Beadle from the University of Oklahoma Aspies Consortium, and I'm going to talk for a few minutes and show you examples about seismic attributes you can use for better imaging your car systems. Some of the attributes we want to use are geometric in nature, from looking at variance or coherence, as well as curvature to highlight the different structural features of the car systems. You can also look for amplitude anomalies to identify caves and collapse features. One of those that you might try is RMS amplitude. And then spectral decomposition can also help you reveal karst geometry. I do want to mention that one feature that's been really good to use is multispectral coherence, so I urge you to consider this. Um, this is calculating your coherence for different spectral ranges. And as you can see here in this case, when we've got the broadband in the upper left compared to pulling out coherence at 18, 25, and 30, six hertz, <laughs> um, you can image different parts of that karstic system, the caves and the channels in the Trim Basin. In addition, calculating your peak frequency um, is really key to do, and you can see that on the left-hand side. And what we're doing on the right-hand side is we're combining those three different frequencies I showed you in the last slide using a red, green, blue blended coherence image, so that's our multispectral coherence. Uh, which really reveals some vivid details. Now we're going to look at a few different images, uh, same view in all of these that we'll go through. And so this is the top of the Ellenberger Dolomite in the Fort Worth Basin. And first we're looking at it with coherence, so we can see some of the faults and some of the karstic features of interest. Now we've got the uh, reflector rotation along the top of the Dolomite. And we can look at the inline amplitude gradient to really see some of those finer scale features. Now this one is the cross line amplitude gradient. So the amplitude gradient is calculated in the cross line direction and you can notice how different it looks from the image I just showed you. You can also image karstic system with some texture attributes. So this is the GLCM, the gray level covariance matrix, dissimilarity attribute. And now this one is the GLCM energy attribute, and you can notice how those karstic sinkholes or caves really pop out with that dark red color. And now we have the GLCM contrast, again showing a slightly different um, features in this system than the other GLCM attributes. So all of these texture attributes measure something a little bit different, and we have tons of information about this on our website. And then finally here, we've got the GLCM entropy. So it's showing how much things are changing between one pixel to the next. Hopefully you picked up on a few new attributes to try for your karstic systems. I went over a lot of different attributes and there's detailed information about all of them up on the ASPE website. Thanks for listening.